Hi, my name is Amy Cross, and this is The Cross Legacy, where I teach you how to save money on groceries. Right now, we are doing a Meals Within Budget series talking about meat, and today we're going to be talking about sausage. So first thing, when you are buying sausage from the store, you wanna think about how it is packaged. So things that are packaged like this in the styrofoam will only stay good in their freezer for six weeks to three months. So you don't want to have things in packages like this for longer term food storage. The cellophane and the plastic will make the sausage become freezer burn. So often I will put this in a different freezer safe container. Even a freezer quart size bag would be better than keeping it in the styrofoam. So since I had just purchased these a couple weeks ago on sale, I just tossed them in the freezer knowing that I'm going to be using them soon. But otherwise I would put them into a freezer safe container. When you get sausage that is wrapped like this it will last longer in the freezer or things like kielbasa that's in an airtight packaging those easily can just go right into the freezer when you find them on sale and they will stay fresh for about a year so when i'm talking about sausage we use it for multiple things from breakfast all the way to dinner time and through all the seasons also so whenever i can find it on sale i do try to stock up so we have it on hand one of the things that i don't have here because we just ate it recently but we normally have kielbasa in the freezer also one of my favorite quick dinners is to make kielbasa with peppers and onions and pineapple. And I just pour barbecue sauce over that and then we serve that with rice. And you can have that done in like less than 30 minutes and dinner on the table. So we have that quite often. That is one dish that we serve through all of the seasons, which is just a family favorite that we do all of the time. But a lot of the dishes that I do for dinners, we are rotating through the seasons. So that way I am making different meals and in the fall and winter time than we are in the spring and summer and a lot of that goes with the sausage type meals that I do so in the fall and winter I am making things like stuffed acorn squash that I make with sausage or Zupa Toscana soup which is our family favorite for the holidays we also will always have sausage on hand to make things like pizza which I think we're gonna make a whole nother video on having the ingredients to make pizza available so time Talking about the different seasons, things like Italian sausage or different brats and those kind of things, we will use differently in the winter time, which I normally am putting that into like a spaghetti sauce or an Italian dish. And then in the summertime, we will use brats and Italian sausage on the grill. So we still have the same items. We still stock the same items, but we use them different ways throughout the year. And also I normally keep different kinds of ground pork, so either just normal you know country ground pork or like a breakfast sausage in the freezer normally not in the styrofoam <laughs> packages when I'm cooking this I will often go ahead and make up extra of it and cook it with onions and then I can store it cooked in the freezer it's super easy to take out of the freezer and then use it for pizza toppings and I already have cooked ingredients that are ready to go other things that I used ground sausage for is to make like lasagna rolls or lasagna meatballs I add it to my stuffed peppers also now let's talk about breakfast sausage so I like using maple sausage. I make all kinds of things with this. So I love being able to defrost the maple sausage and then decide as it's defrosting what I'm actually going to make. So sometimes I will make ahead egg bites or breakfast burritos or different kinds of quiches. This is also a great one to make ahead like the night before or a couple days ahead. You can put it back into the freezer if you make it a couple days ahead cooked, but then you can bring it back out on a busy morning and it's already cooked and ready to go and then you can just add your fresh eggs or whatever you're baking always like before a big holiday when we're going to have a lot of family in and I need a big breakfast I will make like the sausage ahead of time and then that way that's one less thing that I have to do on the busy morning so some of these items are just items that we always have but I love being able to have them in my freezer and know that I can use them multiple ways and it will end up saving us money on groceries this video Video is just one in a series on meals within budget make sure you check out the entire playlist